Substructure is the structure that forms in between two swing points. Within an impulsive leg, any pauses in price that do not follow the rule for swing structure can be considered substructure. In a corrective pullback, the highs and lows being formed and broken on that specific time frame will be substructural. Substructure on a higher time frame may be swing structure on a lower time frame. A change of character is the first break of substructure that switches price from bullish to bearish or vice versa. It is the first sign that the trend may be changing from a specific level. Right, so in the last video, what we did was map out our valid swing structure and breaks of structure. And in this video, we're going to be going into and identifying um, our valid substructure and changes of character. Uh, now, I just briefly want to go into um, something I noticed in the last video that I did. It was a mistake I made um, where I said this was the last valid swing high and this was the last valid swing low. Um, while this was a valid swing high, um, we actually created a new swing low here because this candle closed above this one. Um, so we formed some new swing structure here. This was a high, then we closed below that again and then broke to the upside uh, and turning bullish. Um, so our new valid swing points are this low and this high. And then this high was cemented when this candle closed below this one to its left. So that's that cleared up. Um, now to identify our substructure, uh, what we do is look at certain swing points. So starting with the most recent, what do we see? We have this swing low and this swing high. Now you can see um, that as price came down, what we did was form this low and then you know we didn't cement a low but we certainly price uh, didn't trade below this low with this candle and continued up and then what price did was then trade below it without closing below it so you know again didn't form any swing structure or anything like that um, but it's a valid piece of substructure we can, there's a clear low high and a low going on here and then price proceeded to uh, trade above that high. Uh, so this is actually a change of character right here. Um, and then price came down again. Um, and then eventually um, we broke above this most recent piece of substructure. Um, also breaking the swing. Um, so as you can see, uh, this from here to here was at the time one leg, but there were a couple of um, substructure uh, highs and lows within that. And then of course, um, this candle didn't close below the one to its left. So this is still all one swing leg, but again, there is substructure. So we had a low here, a valid substructural low, another high created here. Okay, and then, um, what happened next was, you know, our substructural low would be here at this point still. Um, our swing low was down here, but then we came down and created a new low and broke the high. Um, so this didn't close above this candle, so it's not a break of structure, more sort of a sweep and then um, price continued to break down. So we've created valid highs and lows again, but not swing structure, just substructure. And this is our change of character. Um, and then what happened next, uh, and this is current price, is price came down, well, uh, this circle should be here. This was our current low. Then we came up and then we came down. And we've actually had a change of character at this point here. Um, so, yeah, all sorts of uh, substructure going on within what is currently a swing low and a swing high. 
um, with change character here um, and a change of character right here. Uh, so that is one form of substructure. Um, and I will come over here and show you some other ways that we can see valid substructure. Okay, so in this first uh, piece of price action we marked out, um, the previous high would have been up here with this cemented low after this candle closed above this one. Um, and then price uh, proceeded to come down. Now we formed a substructure low here, with, um, no swing low. Uh, with no candle break and close above. Um, so substructure, low, high, low. And then what we had was this inside bar. And uh, now an inside bar also forms valid substructure, um, specifically because it doesn't trade below, in this case, the previous candle. Um, neither does it trade up above, uh, which is what makes it an inside bar. Um, so the inside bar, high, is actually the top of the inside bar. So this is a new high and then price trades below there. Um, now one, this is our current substructural leg and once price trades above that, that is our change of character. Um, and then again, we form another low and price comes above that. Um, and now this, there's a subtle, very subtle um, new low formed next and it's basically the reverse of an inside bar you can see the next candle trades both below and above the one to its left um, so this means because it traded below that actually creates a valid substructural low there um, so there there is another low there and then we break that high um, and then again, the same things happen. Same thing happens here. Another reverse inside bar. So we create a low here, and price comes up to this point. Um, so this is our substructure leading up to this leg. And then it's not until this low goes that we get our change of character. Um, so if I just zoom out a little bit here, and price then breaks the swing low, but doesn't close below it. So there's no valid breaker structure yet. Um, so before there's a valid break structure, we're still creating substructure. Uh, so another substructural high here, low high. And then once this low is broken, and we also broke the swing low here. Um, now any any price, and until we cement a low, and we don't cement the low until this candle here, uh, anything between that is still substructure. Uh, so again, we here we have another inside bar here. We've created a high there. We've got a low, and then we break above that inside bar. So that was a change of character right there. Um, and then continuing down, the change of character again didn't actually amount to anything in this case, um, and price continued to break swing structure to the downside. Um, <clears throat> so. There we go. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see substructure right there. Um, now, another point to be made regarding changes of character um, is that after we get a break of, of structure um, in any form here, it's the most recent high that's formed, even though that was sort of internal within this leg. Uh, this would be our point of uh, change of character here um, because this low, high, low um, was formed and was the supply zone, uh, which we'll go into later that managed to uh, break the structure. So at this point, our change of character would have happened once this high was broken. Um, so yeah, I hope that's cleared up uh, substructure. 
um, you might need to watch this video a few times uh, to see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's not, maybe not the most obvious thing in the world, um, but I think I've ex explained kind of the, the concepts and shown you most of the ways we see substructure. Um, but yeah, look at it, practice it for yourself, try mapping it out yourself. And um, yeah, any questions, let me know.